I've just been going out a lot and I'm really enjoying my city like I said in my previous vlog and that's why I have so much footage of just different things that I'm doing which I've never experienced before um no some of them I did but just re-experiencing it again and I forgot to tell you guys yesterday but since the vlog I was telling you guys that I had lessons for one and a half hour but Turns out that he canceled, or my instructor canceled, because it, um, we felt, I mean, wait, I can't speak. He said that, well, not him, but my uncle told me that, um, he had, like, a last-minute emergency. Something happened in China, so he had to go back, and that's the reason why, which is fine with me, because I just wanted the day to kind of relax on New Year's, you know, just... Just chill, honestly. This break has been so fast. Usually my breaks are so boring, like I just sit home and do nothing. But like this break, it was pretty good, I must say. So I'm happy about that. Um, positive thoughts and positive vibes. So I've been just... Hold on, I gotta get the door. Christy's home now. She's gonna be mad at me much. You want to say hi? Okay. When he was like I was saying, um, yeah, the reason why I was happy about him not being my instructor for the next couple of weeks because I feel like once your teacher or instructor teaches you for the very first time and you pretty much learn everything from them, and it's like if you don't progress or if you don't improve, you just feel like you're disappointing the instructor. So that's how I feel. So I feel like if I get a new instructor, like he doesn't know my capability yet. So it's like if I, I don't know, I just feel like I, I'm just, I'm more pressured if I'm with my old instructor and I just get like more nervous. But I feel like if I have a new instructor, everything's like so brand new. So I'm just starting kind of fresh with the knowledge that I'm taking from my old instructor, if that makes sense, if you guys feel the same way, because that was such a relief to me. I, I don't know why. And I feel, like, more confident about the road test now. I don't know why. Like, I, that's just the way I am, I guess. So, yeah, that's all I have to say. And I will see you guys later when we go out to the city once again, last day. And I really, I would, like, it would be so cool if we, like, actually virtually could, like, hang out. But, okay. See you guys later. What's up you guys? So we just got our little, what's it called? Bonbons. Bonbons. <laughs> <laughs> and boy are they expensive. $20 for four. Because we got the box too, that's 20? why. I mean, what did I say? $20. Four for $20. So this is what I got from Stick With Me Sweets. Oh my god, these things are so tiny. Literally look at this. Three fifty each, and the box was six dollars. Can you believe it? Haven't had one of these in a very long time. Morning. You just came back from from school. It's the first day. It's tough. Oh my god. There we go. What is up? I figured I should vlog for the time being that I have because I'm gonna be getting my nails done right now. I know it's like, there's like no special occasion. I'm just going just to go because I really wanted to get coffin nails for a while and I just never got them because I figured, like there was just no reason for me to get them, but I don't know, I just want it. So I can't wait for like an event to come for me to get it. So I'm gonna get it. I tried growing out my nails honestly because I wanted to get my nails shaped into coffin, the coffin shape, but it's not long enough and I don't, know how long it's really gonna take so I might as well just get acrylic nails and then have them shape them and whatnot. So yeah, this is my first time ever really getting fake nails because every single time I want to get my nails done it's always my real nails because um my nails are actually really nice. Like they're really hard and they don't break easily like some of my friends are. I mean <laughs> like some of my friends' nails are. So, yeah. Okay, I don't know why, but I'm like one of those people who can't really do anything on their own. Not because there's actually something on my lip. <gasps> okay.
Okay, I'm talking to you guys, and people are probably watching me out through my window, so it's like really weird for me because I'm not used to it. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, so like, I'm just like one of those people who can't really do anything by themselves. I don't know, I just need company and I just need opinion. Even though, like, people's opinions don't really matter, it's like pretty much just what you want. I don't know, like, I just. I'm just like that. It's it's it could be a good or a bad thing. Yeah. So I don't know. Like I always just need like people's opinions, and I just want to know what they think. So I'm going to get my nails done, as I said earlier, and. I am not going myself, as always. I'm going with my sister. Um, she's just going to stay there and watch me, I guess, like, just keep me company while I get it done because, I don't know. Also, like, do you guys feel like you're pressured to, like, speak up when your nail salon lady or hair lady or whoever that you're going to a salon for? Like, don't you just ever feel like you're pressured to say thank you even if you don't like it? You just kind of walk out you're like, thank you, you walk out. And then you start crying. No, not, like, really crying, but... Like, you get really upset. I don't know. That's just me, too. Because, I don't know, I just... I can't say it. Like, for some reason, I just can't... I feel like it's just so rude. Like, I just can't be like, no, I don't like it. Like, I, I don't want to pay for this service because I don't like it. I just can't do that. I can't. So, sometimes I have Christy there because... I don't know, sometimes she could help me or whatever. Because she doesn't really care, so... Yeah. That's something I need to learn learn because... I can't always have her with me and also oh, it's always better to speak up for yourself because I mean like whenever there's something wrong you should be able to speak up for yourself you can't have someone to talk for you so yeah and you can't always be pressured or stressed out when someone messes up their service because that's what you're paying them for so you have to make sure that they're doing it like the way that you want it otherwise you guys could talk about that um, like, you know, paying half for the service or whatever you guys agree on. Yeah. That's my issue. This has really good lighting, actually. So maybe, like, whenever I want to talk or something, I could just sit here and just chat because it's a nice view. I look outside. Okay, hold on. Christy's home. Hi, guys. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. See so you guys when I get there. So, like, me and Christy are trying to, um, kind of diet a little bit because we've been eating, well, I've been eating a lot of grazing. But the only thing is, every single, well, this week we tried dieting and, yeah, not only are we not eating less, but I'm actually eating a lot more than normal because, I don't know, I guess, like, because I don't really eat breakfast in the morning and when I come home at, like, four, 5 o'clock or 6 I just get like super hungry so I just eat everything and anything so I guess that's why and today I eat so much let me tell you guys what I ate I ate four pieces of bread with Nutella I ate rice with beef and peanuts um it was a whole bowl I ate two oranges and I think that's it, but that's a lot already for four hours. And the thing is, it's so weird because I'm not even hungry. I'm just eating it because I'm so bored and have nothing to do. So that's why I'm eating it. It's, it's just so weird. Um, I left my hair in a braid overnight because I washed my hair yesterday. And I like it when my hair is kind of wavy. So I left it in a braid. So when I take it out later on, it's going to be kind of wavy. And on Fridays... I don't have class, so I don't know if I told you guys, but I don't have class, so I'm just trying to chill. Um, I watched, like, basically all my shows that I've missed, and I'm just quite bored right now. I said, oh my gosh, okay, so I said I was going to kind of study a little bit and look over my notes, because in accounting right now, I'm just so lost. I, I don't know what I'm doing at all. And then bio, I have a test already. This is only the first week, and I already have a test, so... I don't know, I have to study that, and I have my driver, I mean driver, I have a driving, my road test this week too, so I have to like, I'm not worried about that right now though, because that's until Friday, so I literally have one more week left, and 
I really need to clean my room and also I really need to film but I just don't have the right lens I just really want to get a nice set of lens and then start filming but first I have to clean my room because my room is a disaster I have to do that like there's just so much things on my plate right now that I'm just really not trying to get to and as I'm reminiscing and watching like old not well yeah old um videos from like PBS Kids like Arthur, Caillou, My Favorite Shows, um, The Dragon Tales. I know I sound like such a little girl but I really am at heart. And I was watching Drake and Josh. I love them so much. I love the TV show. I, I, it's so sad to think that their last episode was... Okay, I'm like holding my arm because it's heavy. I mean because I'm tired. Um, Yeah, the last episode was in 2008. And now we're in 2016. Guys, that is insane that it's been already 8 years since the last episode. So, like, it's just crazy. And, yeah, like, I was just sitting here, sitting there thinking, like, when am I ever going to have time to be sitting here watching all my favorite cartoon shows or all my favorite childhood TV shows anymore? Because, with like, I can't watch a show without thinking... Of my responsibilities and like what I have to do and just there's just so much I need to think about and it's not like I'm actually enjoying the show anymore it's like I don't know I just have it playing but I'm just thinking a lot of things in the back of my head so it just really sucks to grow up honestly it just sucks because honestly like, when are you ever gonna have time to sit there and just just not think about any responsibility and just chill and watch whatever show you want I don't know even though I'm still young, but I already have, like, so much things to think about, so I could only imagine how much, like, people who are so busy, like, how do they manage? I, I don't know. Anyways, um, so the plan for today is, well, I can't be sitting on my bed ass, so <laughs> I gotta, like, work out a little bit because I said I was gonna work out. Okay, so here's the thing. I keep saying I was gonna work out, right, like, at home. But I never do. But when I don't say it, I actually work down. So I think I should stop saying it and start actions. Okay, it's like kind of chilly, but not as cold as um, this entire week. Like today, I think it's one of the hottest or warmest day. I shouldn't say hottest. Um. So yeah, let me tell you guys the plan. So when Christy gets home, well, actually before Christy gets home, I was going to ready myself and film a video, but that's not happening because it's already two o'clock and. I don't know, I just, I just want to clean and just chill. And I was going to do my nails because I was going to go last, I mean this Wednesday, but um, I saw like kids from my old school and I really didn't want to just be there. I know that sounds so bad, but I just don't want to like talk about things, so I don't want to do small talks. So I just, just wanted to avoid it. And I wasn't like really good friends with them, so obviously... That's the reason why, and yeah, so I was going to go today before Chrissy leaves school because her school's right there, so we were going to leave together, but yeah, I don't think that's happening. I don't know. I really need to get them done, though, because I I don't really need them. Let me just stop saying that, but I just want to because I want to get something different other than just coloring it on my own. I don't really ever get um penny <laughs> many patties, so yeah. So I don't think we're doing that. And then after she comes home, she's going to eat, shower probably, and then we're going to head to the movies. Because The Forest comes out today, January 8th. And I'm really excited because, I don't know, I just really want to watch it. If you guys don't know what it's about, definitely trailer it. Because, or even Google, like, Japanese The Forest. I mean, Japanese. Ja Japan The Forest. Or The Forest in Japan. <laughs> yeah, like, it's just so interesting to read about that something like that actually exists i think it exists that's what i read but yeah hopefully you guys are having a great day or a productive day because a productive day is the best days ever um yeah i'll talk to you guys later let me stop rambling